safe gun. What's up, guys? We're playing Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and today we're going to be using the Man of War to get some headshots. So, Red Dot, Grip, High Caliber. That's what we're running on the Man of War right now. And, um, alright, there's a tactic we're going to be using to get in this. And we're playing Safeguard right now, I think. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we did Safeguard in our last video, too, and it's not the best game type to do this in, but... Um, alright, so the Man of War. It's very high power, and, um, how we're going to be using it is we're going to have to burst it. It has a lot of recoil because it does a lot of damage, so we're going to have to burst our headshots to get these guys. It's not going to be as easy as you might think. Sometimes we're, we're going to have to pick and choose our headshots because we're sometimes we're just going to have to fight people, and we're going to have to sacrifice that headshot. It's going to be a little bit more difficult than our regular gun, but he totally just want me. I'm pretty sure he's using the Man of War as well. Um... This is a trickier assault rifle to do it with because of how heavy the recoil is on this gun. So, um, make sure you're bursting whenever you're getting, trying to get those headshots, guys. Just make sure you're bursting. If you're not bursting, it's going to be harder to do this. What I recommend doing is trying to get a few body shots in. And then go for that headshot. And it's still going to be a little bit more difficult for you. This is just one of those tricky guns in the game that I have a hard time with. Because it has such high power, though, you can dish out some easy headshots at closer range. Um, but I recommend setting back a little bit further to do this. That way you have more time to line that up. And that car is going to explode, so we need to get out of here. Go ahead and finish that off. Oh, we're not going to go over there because we just grenaded it. Yeah, just sit back, be smooth with your shots. And you'll be getting some head, nice headshots off of this gun. Just don't panic. Don't try too hard. He was on our side of the map. I wasn't paying attention. Damn. But uh, make sure you're smooth. When it, that, That's the key to the headshots of this weapon. And I just got knifed or punched. Um, because this guy's camping in my spawn. There you go, buddy. Yeah, it's not happening again. Um... But yeah, you're going to have to be really smooth with this one to get the headshots off with it. That's that's the thing I'm going to tell you right now. Um, my team isn't paying attention. They're kind of letting these guys just run all over the place and kind of sucks, really. Throw that grenade in there, kind of lure him out so we can't finish that off. Um, uh, I, I swear that one should have been a headshot, but oh well. Alright, alright, alright. We got him coming up behind us now. Got a grenade right there. Alright. Ruin down. Again, guys, just take your time. And these headshots will come to you. He one pieced me with the Shiva because I was already really injured. The key, that's the key to this right here is to just take your time and burst this thing. Try not to go full auto because it's going to cost you. Got melee in the back of them damn fists again. Everybody's playing bunny rabbits right now, trying to hop around. Getting shot in the back a little bit here. Over by the red car, guys. Let's get him. Our guy's gonna go down right here. I don't want to get hit by that guy with the fist again. Damn, we're getting concussed quite a bit. They're launching those concussions left and right, trying to slow us down. Should make sense. Double kill, popcorn. What? I like it. We got him, but we got picked off in the middle of the map. Our guys are setting back a little bit too much. We need to play a little bit more aggressive right now in order to keep these guys back. We're letting them just kind of walk the robot in and... We hit him directly with that grenade. Ouch. See, I'm, I'm struggling with my headshots, guys. Like, I'm not kidding. It's, this is just, this is one of the hardest guns I had uh, when I originally got all the headshots for it. This is one of the hardest guns I got headshots done with. Um, that's the first round. I typically don't get a lot of headshots in the first round when I'm playing the objective on safeguard. Um, this guy's going off with the pistol here. Or going on, maybe? There we go. 
body shot. Took his leg from him. Ouch. Uh, but I, in the last time, if you watched my last setup video, I didn't, or headshot, best setup for the, I can't words, I'm sorry. The best headshot class setup video for the last gun that I did. Um, I didn't get a lot of headshots in this either. This is a gun that's going to be a little bit easier in a more aggressive game type, like Team Deathmatch or Domination. Hardpoint is my preferred method. So if you can play Hardpoint, that, because you know where they're going to go, right? Hardpoint, like, lets you just know. If I wouldn't have got double teamed right there, that would have been a headshot. It's just, it's hard to survive because you're going to be slowing your fire down a lot to try and accommodate this gun's recoil. You're going to have to burst, and it's just going to have to be really slow fire, and it's going to, you're going to, you're going to give up some deaths whenever you're doing this one, guys. Um, now, the Men of War is an excellent assault rifle. If you're just trying to go in and get a lot of, get a lot of kills, this thing is a beast. And uh, you can go in and just mop up with this thing. It's one of the best guns for that, actually. Um, it has such a high power on its damage that you can go through and you can just murder people. But when you're trying to get headshots, you kind of have to slow that fire rate way down. And it just makes it, makes it really difficult. Right there, I just had some teammates standing in front of me and things just didn't go my way. See, he's using the Man of War and he put me down. If I would have been aiming for the chest, I would have easily gotten that kill, but because I'm going for the head, and it's just so damn hard to stay on headshots with this thing. Um, at least it is for me. There's a headshot. That was a kind of a freebie. Gotta take all of those we can get, though. All the freebie headshots we can get, we're taking them. And what uh, a technique that I've been using to get my headshots with it is to try and start shooting and then walk to the left or the right. It kind of balances the gun out a little bit better. And it's going to help you get those headshots. There's another one. Finally, a couple back-to-backs. That was... I've been looking for that. Three in a row. Man, we're just on fire right now. Well, we got a triple kill. We didn't get a headshot off of it. We got a triple, which is kind of nice. We're going to set up on these next headshots. They are shooting the crap out of our rocket with a, or our robot with a rocket launcher. Remember guys, patience is key whenever it comes to getting headshots with this gun. Step back, plan your, plan your headshot, literally. And what I mean by that is, know where they're going to be first so that you can sit here and kind of just work those headshots out. They're camping pretty heavily because we're trying to push the robot in right now, which is completely understandable. I happen to be the only guy that died from that. That sucked. Um... And again, you guys, are, you're going to give up some deaths trying to do this. It's just, it's going to happen. It's not something you're going to be able to get around. We got another headshot right there, which is good. Um, you're going to have to stand still a lot of the time, and you're going to give up a lot of deaths, so don't worry about that. If you felt like you're dying a lot, um, it's normal for this for this one in particular. Got a headshot through that wall, though. Uh, it's normal, though. You're going to give up some deaths trying to get headshots with this bad boy. Um... He got a headshot on me right there. So. Kind of knew where he was going. That's why I turned to shoot him. Throw that right there. They're going to be pushing around wide right here. Ah, uh, I was trying to get the headshot, but I failed. I choked at it. We're going to need to set up wide. Because that's, that's just where we want to be with this gun. Set up wide, that way we can pick our shots. We don't want to have to, like, force anything. I want someone to come back to this window so I can get a freebie on them. Oh, he's moving way too quick for me. We need to get in there. We're down to a minute. We need to start getting that robot in. I'm going to try and walk around this corner and headshot this guy. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that saved me, teammate. Thank you, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Help. Oh, my God. Slow it down. Slow it down. See? When you get full auto like that, you can't control this gun. It just goes kind of crazy, really. And that's not what you want with it. You want to be able to stay nice and smooth. Smooth is the key to this gun's success when it comes to headshotting. And bursting doesn't always guarantee that success. Yeah, we're sitting in a bad spot right here. 
There we go, there's another one. I know I'm not playing the objective, guys. Uh, it's literally just because I'm trying to get these headshots right here. Our robot's rebooting. Yeah, we lost this one. For sure. Anyway, guys, uh, I know I was two in a row I've made videos on. 47 and 23. As you can see, the gun will put up points. Uh, objective is not the best game type to play it in. Um, it was just the match that came up whenever I did it. And I uh, probably could have won if I would have been a little more aggressive and played the objective. I apologize, team. I usually don't like letting my team down. But for the sake of this video, I had to. Um... But that's it for the best headshot class setup video for Looks the like Mano War. Just remember, game. use that setup that I showed you in the beginning, and then be smooth. Burst fire, set back, don't play aggressive with it, pick your shots. Make sure you line up where their head's going to be and just start bursting at it. And that's the best way you're going to be able to do it. I know I didn't get too many headshots in the video. I think it was actually less than 10. Um, but that's the best way I've been able to grind out the camo for the Mano War. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you liked it, like it. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace.